today's topic for discussion is a description of a specific plant that is nerium oleander this nerium plant it is commonly known as nerium and it is the member of family apocynaceae and it is very commonly grown as an ornamental plant because of its beautiful flowers let us see the taxonomic features of anerium oleander which is commonly known as nerium habit and habitat it is a mesophyte that requires a moderate amount of water it is a evergreen large sized shrub or small tree it shows xerophytic features root system is branched and it is tap root system stem is branched woody glabrous glabrous means free from hairs nodes solen aerial bran- branches present and green upper part of stem is green solid erect containing milky latex presence of milky latex in the plant it is the xerophytic feature of the plant okay bark is fibrous green next this is the leaf of nerium oleander leaf is simple simple leaf is having only petiole and lamina when the leaf is having only petiole and lamina it is described as simple the leaf of nerium is simple coriaceous coriaceous colline and ramel colline and ramel means that can grow on stem as well as branches okay milky latex is present that is the xerophytic feature present presence of coriaceous, coriaceous leaves is the xerophytic character again shape of the leaf it is lens shaped hence it is described as lanceolate shape of the leaf is elongated linear color of leaf is green cuticle of this leaf of nerium is thick and thick cuticle is the characteristic feature of xerophytic plant and the leaf is reticulate venation is there but the pinnately wet reticulate venation occurs in leaf of nerium oleander and petiole it is a leaf it, it, it has a petiole petiole is short thick petiole is present hence the leaf is described as petiolate leaf margin of the leaf of nerium is entire it is in continuation apex of the leaf is acute that is pointed base of the leaf is pulvinate gradually become pointed such base is described as pulvinate okay stipule is present hence the leaf is described as stipulate and phyllotaxy arrangement of the leaves means phyllotaxy phyllotaxy is opposite or oral texture of the leaf is glabrous coriaceous next this is the inflorescence of nerium oleander inflorescence is terminal multiparous or polychaetial cyme next this is the flower of nerium flower is complete because all floral floral units are present flower is called as described as pentamerous because five petals are present in the flower flower is heteroclamidous heteroclamidous flower that, that means the calyx lobes are distinctly present and the corolla lobes that is sepals and petals are uh, they are distinct uh, dif- differentiated they are uh, different from each other we can easily identify such type of uh, such type of sepals and petals are present that is described as heteroclamidous okay and the flower is described as cyclic because the sepals petals and stamens they are arranged in a separate orals such flower is described as cyclic flower okay pedicel stalk is present to the flower hence it is pedicellate flower symmetrical flower is symmetrical symmetrical flower is described as actinomorphic flower is bisexual because androecium and gynoecium both are present in that position of ovary is hypogynous because all the floral units they are originated from base of the ovary thalamus is absent in the flower 
color of the flower, the given photograph, it is a pink colored but white, yellow, red colored flowers occur in Nerium. Okay, next. This is the bract of the uh, Nerium. Bract is present. Bract is small uh, leafy structure when it occurs at the base of the flower that is known as bract. And when the bract is present in the flower, that flower is described as bracteolate flower. This is the androsium as well as gynosium shown in the photograph. Uh, to, this is the flower of bisexual flower. Androsium it is male part of the flower. Gynosium it is the female part of the flower. Hence the flower is the bisexual or hermaphrodite. Next. This is the calyx of uh, Nerium. Number of sepals. Calyx consists of sepals. There are five sepals are present which are persistent. Gland is present at the base of each sepal. Color of sepal is purple red. The sepals are united hence described as gamosepalus in taxonomic language. Estivation. Estivation means arrangement of the sepals in the flower. Estivation is imbricate or quinquential. Epicalyx is absent in the flower. Next. This is the corolla of Nerium. Petals are five. Campanulate that is funnel shaped. And corolla forming a tube which is expanding above. The throat of corolla tube produce hairy, hairy appendages which resemble like corona of Ascalpidaceae. Corona present at the throat of the corolla tube in the nerium which is white or pink in color and uh, the petals are united at the basal region hence gamopetals condition is there. Estivation is contorted. Okay, next. This is the androsium of nerium oleander. Uh, this uh, number of stamens in the androsium they are five and uh, the stamens are situated alternate to the petals and stamens are fused with the petals hence they are described as epipetalous stamen and um, stamens upper part of the stamen is free that is polyandrous okay upper part of the free upper part stamen is free but uh, at the basal region they are attached epipetalous condition is correct okay attachment of the anther is basic fixed extrors or intrors intrors what is intrors after maturity of the pollen grain the pollen grain split open to release the pollens toward the center of the flower such anther lobe which releases pollen grain toward the central region of the flower is described as intrors okay and it is dithecus anther. Dehiscence is longitudinal, filament is very short. Next, this is the anther. Uh, the description about anther. Anther is conuvent round in shape and this uh, and uh, stigmatic head. Okay. And shape of the anther that is sagittate. And connective is feathery, appendiculate, and all the connectives twist around the another, uh, to twist one another to form a coiled thread. And anther lobes too. Anthers are free but may be surrounded to the stigma with connective. Lower part of anther prolonged into spurs. This type of anther, it is a very specific characteristic of Nerium oleander that occurs in the Nerium. Next. Epipetalous stamen. When the stamens are attached to the petal, the stamens are described as epipetalous. The stamens are situated alternate to the petals. Next. This is the gynosium or female part of the flower. Position of ovary is superior. Nectar secreting gland present at the base of the ovary. There are two carpels. If you take the section of the ovary, there are two carpels and the ovary is bicarpillary. Carpels are united, hence it is syncarpus. And locules are two, bilocular with many ovules in each locule. Okay. Placentation is axile. Stigma is dumb, dumb shaped and uh, thick, distinct. Style is long, filiform. And placentation is axile. Next. The fruit of Nerium oleander is a follicle and seeds are ribbed linear and endospermic. Thank you very much. Save trees, save earth.